Good morning. Welcome to English 164 for the fall 2020 semester. Uh, this is a full 16 week course. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how to navigate through Canvas. Uh, every instructor's Canvas course is set up a little bit differently. Uh, we still have the same general idea, but it's nice to see things, um, how, they, how are they laid out and where to find the things that you need first and foremost. Whenever you log into our course, English 161 through Canvas, I'm sorry, 164 through Canvas, this is the first page that you'll see is your welcome page. It does change weekly. Um, I try to put up a link every week. This is a clickable link. You can access it and it'll take you somewhere else. Um, but please definitely check that out. Um, the first thing I put on here was just a cover of our textbook, the 12th edition of Technical Communication by Markle and Selber. Um, but this does change from week to week, depending on what we're discussing that week. Uh, the next place that you're going to, you could go is the syllabus. Um, please feel free to read this at whenever you're bored at home. Um, but this is take, this will take you here. If you click, um, the syllabus, it will load for you. I've loaded it here. A couple things I did want to point out about the syllabus, uh, just so we're all on the same page right from the beginning. My contact information right here at the top. Uh, Canvas messaging via the inbox is one of the ways to get a hold of me, my LCCC email address, my phone number, you can leave me a voice message or a text, I'll get back to you. Uh, I always try to get back to you within 24 hours, but my goal is usually much, much sooner than that. Uh, like I said, this is a 16 week course, so we run from 824, which is today, all the way through 1213. Um, English 164 is a writing course. Uh, this is an alternative to 162, specifically if you are in the in a technical field like engineering. Uh, so this is an option in lieu of 162. So a big difference here is that we're obviously going to work on technical documents versus reading a novel. Uh, so a couple things to point out, you can read this all on your own. Um, I'm just going to scroll down and look at a couple, point out a couple things here. Uh, like I said, this is the textbook, Markle and Selber. Feel free to get it wherever you can. Um, if you have funds for financial aid, definitely through the bookstore. Um, but it can be purchased online via Amazon. You can go to the publisher's website. Um, it's entirely up to you. Used copies are fine as well. Find the cheapest option, in my opinion. Textbooks are crazy. Um, as we go through, you can, again, kind of scan things. Uh, grading procedures and assignments, uh, most important for this course, as with any of the English courses, you are required to write 5,000 formal words, uh, which means we put 5,000 words in your formal projects. Uh, it sounds like a lot, but you can do it. We break it up into four different assignments. Uh, and here is the assignment breakdown and the percentages of what they are. So we have a professional correspondence, a proposal, a recommendation report, and instructions. Of course, we also have quizzes, discussion posts, and other assignments that do come up. Uh, again, you can read through this. This just breaks down each of the, the assignments a little bit further. Uh, something to note here, assignments, late work or missing work. Uh, late or missing work is not accepted in this course. Everything is online. Everything is on Canvas. Everything is accessible through Canvas. I will never give you an assignment, uh, a major formal writing assignment, and expect you to do it in a week without any feedback or any guidance. So you know well enough in advance from the date I assign the project uh, to when it's due. Therefore, there is no late work. Um, again, we can just kind of scroll through things here. The way the course is set up is everything goes live at midnight on Mondays. So if at any time you're up at three in the morning on a Monday morning, feel free to log into the course and get started. Um, everything releases that at midnight and then it runs all the way through 1159 on Sunday. So it constitutes a full week of material. Um, and everything is available. I don't parse it out in any way. It's everything all at one time. So if you chose to do some items Monday, some items Thursday, it's all up to you. Um, but keep in mind that discussion boards, if you note here, discussion boards, your initial post is always due on Thursday. And at least two responses are due by Sunday. So you have a little bit of break there, but your initial post must be posted by Thursday. 
Um, something new that most of you probably are not aware of or familiar with is IEEE -E -E formatting. Um, that's the formatting style that we'll use in this course. It's more specific to technical writing. Um, I will post documents and videos and links of how to create IEEE -E -E formatting so you're not unaware. Um, so we'll walk all the way through that process. As you get to the bottom of the syllabus here, you'll see a, a, a basic, a preliminary course schedule, if you will. Um, this is subject to change at any time, only because as we move through things, if we need more time or if I have to push a due date, I will. So always check Canvas, that's your go-to, but this is just to give you an idea of where we're going for the course. So that is the syllabus. Uh, hopping back over to the Canvas site, the next place, this is, should be your always your second go-to location for everything. So you go into the home page, that's where it first takes you. Module should be your second stop anywhere you go. Um, modules breaks down everything that we're doing for that week, and everything is listed per week. So we have 824 to 830, and here's all the material. I also try to break it down so that way you're able to see things I have to review, I have to read, and then the deliverables for the week. So this is the same link that was on the home page, the, the first week's guide. Again, you're going to review the syllabus, um, and you can read, I sort of give you a breakdown of what it covers to review. Um, there's nothing to do in there, it's just a, hey, here's everything. Um, IEE citation guide, uh, this links you directly to it so you can see it. Be sure to look here, there's also a video I included on IEE formatting. Um, the things to read, so the work, the week one reading, which is chapters one and three in the textbook, and the PowerPoints that accompany those. And then the items that are due, there's a syllabus quiz, um, an introduction post, a discussion board and an analysis activity. All of those are available, like I said, right now, so feel free to get started as soon as you are available for it. Uh, again, everything is due by Sunday at 11.59. Just be mindful of your due dates on the discussion boards. Uh, if you didn't want to venture into modules and you already knew what was there, again, I always stress start with modules, um, but your discussion boards are here. So your introduction post, your week one discussion, you, they'll appear here. Any assignments that we have going on, same idea, upcoming assignments, mind the due dates, everything is there. Now it's quirky with both, um, with any of the LMS systems is that I can only assign it one due date. So even though your initial posts are due on Thursday, I can't tell it it's due on Thursday. Uh, because you have technically till Friday, or I'm sorry, till Sunday to complete it. So just be mindful if it says due on that date, you still have your Thursday post. Uh, quizzes, same idea. You have a quiz in there. Any other quizzes will always appear here. And then something that everyone's always looking for what are my grades? How do I find my grades? Click on the grades button and you'll be able to see it. Everything listed within here. Uh, is always updated in real time. So let's say, for example, you take the syllabus quiz, you get 10 out of 10, it'll update immediately. Uh, anything I have to grade will update as soon as I've graded it. Um, but it is real time. So if you're anxiously watching and waiting, um, you should receive an email uh, that grades have been updated. That typically is how it works. Um, but again, you start off on the home page. I suggest always starting with modules and going from there and kind of working through your week that way. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, uh, send me a Canvas inbox message, send me an email, send me a text, or leave me a voicemail. I will get back to you. Let's have a great 16 weeks.